Hi everybody, Fintan here from Dams and Cloud. This week I want to talk about Jamboard in Google Meet. This is a feature we've been uh, hoping to get for quite some time and Google have now added the ability to add a Jamboard, for those of you that don't know what that is, that is Google's digital whiteboard technology, to a Google Meet session. Uh, so again, I thought a little bit of a demo might be in order. If you're interested in seeing it, stay tuned. Okay, so I have my Pixelbook here, and the reason I'm gonna use the Pixelbook today um, is because Jamboard is a digital whiteboard, and it's best used on a kind of a touchscreen device. So if you've got an iPad, an Android tablet, um, or one of the touchscreen Chromebooks, um, with the Pixelbook, you actually also get a, a stylus as well. And so it just allows for a couple of more features. So I, I, I just wanted to, to use that as opposed to my MacBook, because I think, um, it's more beneficial to, to show off some of these additional features. So I've got a um, Google Meet set up called my Discovery Workshop and I'm gonna join that um, and I, I'm joining the video call and you can see me now, hi guys. You can see my little uh, climbing thing there behind me and my uh, audio foam above. <laughs> Um, and when I join it, um, I now have uh, in the bottom right hand corner, I now have, uh, when I click on the three little dots, I now have whiteboard. So I can actually open a whiteboard digital uh, Jamboard session. I can start a new one if I want, or I can actually choose from, from Google Drive. So I'm gonna choose from Google Drive in the typical, here's one I made earlier. Um, so it's gonna show me my recent jams, as Google called them, uh, and I can select my Discovery Workshop one. And it will open it up and automatically share it with everybody within the Google Meet. Now, I'm gonna stay in Chrome for a moment. Uh, I am gonna show you the Jamboard app uh, later on, but this is what the web browser interface will look like, and this is probably what most people um, will be using it on. So let's just full screen that. And we can see here, I can use my, um, my, my mouse uh, and, and touchpad, and I can, because this is touchscreen, obviously I could, I could also uh, select it here, but that's really just the same as the mouse controls. You can do various different things. You can um, do little drawings. Um, you've got like a paintbrush. You've got um, a sort of a, a marker style and pen style. You've got a little eraser, a, a pointer. The pointer sort of allows you to uh, grab things and move them around if they're, if they're sort of images. You can add little sticky notes. Uh, Gmail note here and change the color of them if you want. Uh, and then you can save those and pop them around the place. Um, so I can move that around now if I want and resize it as well. There we go. Um, and then you've also got uh, images, so I can do a, a sort of an image search, um, either upload an image directly from my, my laptop, do a search on Google Drive, or just do a Google image search. So I could do a Google image search for uh, Gmail, and I could pull in maybe the Gmail logo if I wanted, uh, if I was doing maybe a little whiteboard on that. Uh, you can do um, shapes as well. So if I wanted to do like a little square or a circle, if I wanted to maybe make a, um, a little diagram, I can also do text as well. So if I wanted to pop in some text in here, I could do that. There we go. Uh, and I've also got a little laser pointer. So valuable if I'm um, in a meeting with other people and I'm uh, there in the Jamboard session as well. And if someone else is in a Jamboard, they will see everything kind of happening live um, in, in the same interface. Now, what I wanted to show you on here was the actual Jamboard app. So uh, the Jamboard app is only available on a touchscreen device, as I said. So if you've got an iPad or a touchscreen laptop, um, that's Android maybe, or an Android device, then you can use it on that. So I'm gonna open this up in the Jamboard app now, and you're gonna see that I'm gonna get some additional features, okay? Um, it's exactly the same uh, jam. Uh, I'm just gonna flip this around so that I can I can use it like a tablet, and I've got my, my stylus here. So what this allows me to do is, now that I'm in the Jamboard app, I have some other things like the assistive drawing tool. And the assistive drawing tool is, is quite um, useful. So you can actually just write and it will predict the words that it thinks that you're writing in. And it's fairly accurate, actually. Um, so this is just a feature of Jamboard. 
And you can also do the assistive drawing tool for shapes as well. So I can kind of draw a shape uh, and it will kind of predict what it is. Um, I'll just do a new one here. So I'm running out of space. And you can also do this assistive drawing tool that tries to guess what you're drawing, which is kind of cool. So if I draw a very basic car, it will start to predict down here what it thinks I want. Okay, so yep, that's what I was looking for. And I can just select it and now I have a little image of a car. The same thing I could do like a little face if I wanted. And as you start to draw, it starts to predict down below what it thinks you're looking for. So if I do a little point years, it thinks maybe I'm looking for a little animal. You can see the more that you draw, the more it tries to predict what it thinks you're looking for. Oh, I've got this little monkey fella here. I can have him climbing on the roof of the car. So you can see how valuable that would be if you're trying to really quickly um, get something up. And uh, I'm gonna do a little, here's one I made earlier. So in this example here, um, I've just sort of done, done up a little uh, workflow chart. And again, you, you can share this live with people either by doing a screen share or by sharing the Jamboard with them. Um, and they can just be on the web interface and be interacting with it as well. And so it's an excellent way particularly now where, where people aren't in the same room, where you can have um, a video call, but also have this digital whiteboard that you can all work on um, and interact with together. Now the Jamboard is also a piece of hardware that you can buy, which is a, a basically a very, very large screen um, that's also an interactive whiteboard and, and allows you to uh, do everything within the, within the app on there. So it's for all the world a, a, a giant tablet. Um, and there are many other uh, solutions out there like this, um, but I think it's great that Google have, have integrated this now um, into Google Meet and it just, it makes it a much more powerful solution. And we were talking last week about some of the other features like polling and Q&A and things like that that have come along. And the digital whiteboard is just another layer now that Google is adding in and really turning the Google Meet solution um, into an extremely um, powerful workshop style solution for a lot of organizations that are now being forced um, to maybe run these types of workshops that they might have run in person before. Um, in, in different locations or where their employees are in different locations. Um, so that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's update. Uh, I'd love to know what you think of this week's update, if you've ever used Jamboard yourself and what you think you might end up using it for yourself now that it's been added to Google Meet. That's it for me. I will talk to you guys next week.